The message you're about listening to is from Pastor E. A. Adibui, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Immortal, invisible, I the know. only wise God, Alpha. Alpha, Omega, Omega, Beginning, Ibere, Ending, Ratiopi, Rock of Ages, Apataira, Wonderful Counselor, e, e, Mighty God, Olu, Damon, Everlasting Olu, Father, Baba, Ira, e, Prince of Peace, Oma, Ladia, La, Pia, Glory be to your holy o, name. Godi, furu, kami, Glory be to your holy name. O, Godi, furu, kami, Thank you for the new year. Thank you for a new beginning. Thank you for new joy. New blessings. New victory. New level. Of breakthrough. Glory be to your holy name. Answer our prayers tonight. Save souls tonight. Heal tonight. Deliver tonight. Set free tonight. Perform miracles here tonight. Let our joy overflow tonight. Father, I beg you. I beg you on behalf of all your children. Don't let any of us fail this year. Amen. Don't let us fail you. Don't let us fail our families. Don't let us fail your church. Don't let us fail ourselves. Let all be well. Thank you, my father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. The book of Ruth, chapter 3. From verse 1 to 6. If we don't know where Ruth is, it is between Judges and Samuel. Between Judges and First Samuel, that's where you find Ruth. When you find it, say Amen. Ruth chapter 3. Ruth, Oriketa. Verse 1 to 6. Then Naomi, her mother in law, said unto her, My daughter, shall I not seek rest for thee, that it may be well with thee? Naomi, ya okoresi wefu mpe, omo biri mi, emi ki yo ha wai bi isi mi funo, ki ole dara funo. And now is not Boaz of our kindred, with whose maidens thou wast? Behold, he winnoweth barley tonight in the threshing floor. Genesis, ye, he batten waki Boaz, ye she, omo bini or dwenity, what in bagwe, ki e si, o fio ka bali, ya le ye, ni le pakare. Wash thyself therefore, and anoint thee, and put thy raiment upon thee, and get thee down to the floor, but make not thyself known unto the man, until he shall have done eating and drinking. Nitori no, we, ki o si para, ki o si wa shore, ki o si soka le lo si le paka. Shubama si je ki o kore na, ki o ri o titi o ngo fi je ti o si moutan. And it shall be when he lieth down, that thou shalt mark the place where he shall lie, and thou shalt go in and uncover his feet and lay thee down, and he will tell thee what thou shalt do. Yo si she, ni kwa ti oba du bule, ki wakyo ki e si biti o unsu si, 
ki wo ki o wole ki o si si aso ese re ki o si dubule ohun o si so ohun ti iwo yo se fun o as he said unto her all that thou seest unto me i will do o si we fun pe gbogbo yi ti iwo wi fun mi le mi o se as she went down onto the floor and did according to all that her mother in law bid her o si so kale lo si ile ipaka na o si se gege bi gbogbo yi ti iya oko re pa lase fun there are categories of breakthroughs ipele aluyo ni nbe orisirisi ipele aluyo lo wa in other words there are breakthroughs and there are breakthroughs eyi tun mo si pe aluyo nbe awon aluyo miran tun wa pelu in genesis 18 verse 9 to 14 ninu we genesis ori kejidilogun ese kesan de ikere la genesis 18 9 to 14 genesis ori kejidilogun ese kesan de ikere la abraham had a breakthrough abraham o ni aluyo kan but it was a delayed breakthrough sugbon o je aluyo eyi to pe die he had been waiting for it for 25 years o ti ni odun meedogbon lo fi duro de aluyo yi In Genesis 41, nini we Genesis ori kokan le ni ogoji. Verse 38 to 44, ye ori kokan le logoji. Ese kejidi ni ogoji de ikerin le logoji. Joseph had a breakthrough. Joseph ni aluyo bakan na. But it was a delayed breakthrough. Sugbon o je aluyo yi to pe bakan na. God had told him long ago that he would have that breakthrough. O popolopo odun seyin ni Olorun ti ba so pe yo ni aluyo yi. In Exodus chapter three, then we Exodus ori keta verse one to fifteen. Ese kini de ke dogun. Exodus three one to fifteen. Exodus ori keta ese kini de ke dogun. Moses had a breakthrough. Moses ni aluyo. It was a delayed breakthrough. Shukwa oje aluyo ito pe ba kana. He knew from the moment he was forty years old that he was a special fellow sent to deliver Israel. Lati ba to ti pe amogodi odu. But his breakthrough was delayed for another 40 years. I pray for somebody here today. Your breakthrough will no longer be delayed. Amen. Now when you read Joshua chapter 1 Nigba te ba wa ka Joshua ori kini verse 1 to 8 Ese kini de ikejo Joshua 1 verse 1 to 8 Joshua ori kini ese kini de ikejo When a messenger suddenly became a president Nigba ti eni ti an peran ni se lojiji ko di are abase wa without previous notice Lies see if it only let it tell that's a new level of breakthrough Eyi je aluyo gogi When you read for Samuel 16 ti e ba wa ka Samuel kini ori kokan di ori kere di logun For Samuel 16 Samuel kini ori kere di logun Verse 11 to 13 ese ike kokan lade ike tala When the shepherd boy became a king within hours nigbati omo daran daran to di oba laarin iseju aya without any previous notice lies pe won fi to le ti tele That's a new level of breakthrough. Eleyi je ipele tutun ti aluyo. If you read Esther chapter 2, nigba te ba wa ka iwe Esther ori keji. Verse 15 to 18. Ese ke dogun de keji dilogun. Esther 2 verse 15 to 18. Iwe Esther ori keji, ese ke dogun de keji dilogun. When a slave girl became a queen. Nigba ti eru birin wa di ayaba in a foreign land. Mi ile ajoji. That's a new level of breakthrough. Eleyi je ipele otun ti aluyo. And I have good news for somebody here today. Bo wa ni iroyin ayo fun enikan ni ilaleyi. You may not be expecting it. O le ma ma re ti re. There may be no prophecy about it before now. Eh ni a tele ma ti e so tele fun o. But I tell you in the name that above every other name. Sugbon mo so fun oni oruko ti o ju gogoruko lo ni. Before the sun rises. Ki ile ola o to mo. You have a new level of breakthrough. Amen. Wa ni aluyo gogi ni ile akotun Today we want to concentrate on Ruth La leyi a fe kiyesi nipa ti Ruth We want to use her as a case study for a new level of breakthrough A fe lo gege bi eko fun ipele akotun ti aluyo Ruth 
came from the nation of Moab. Moab was a nation of terrible idol worshippers. When you read Numbers chapter 21, verse 29, Numbers 21, verse 29, it is written concerning Moab. Woe unto you, Moab, for you are undone. Moab is a nation that is already condemned forever by God. And yet, out of these condemned people, God pulled out a woman and turned her to the great grandmother of David. And as a result, she became the great great grandmother of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now that is definitely a new level of breakthrough. There's somebody here tonight. Even you yourself, you don't have any hope for yourself. I promise you in the name that's above every other name. One day when they are talking about the history of the world, they will mention your name. Yeah. Because of time. Because because you know, I'm sure you know the story of Ruth. You all know the story. So I will jump the details of his of our story. And I will go to what must I do in order to move to a new level of breakthrough. What do I need? To move to the new level of breakthroughs. Number one. Good counsel. The mother-in-law of Ruth gave her good counsel. What do I do with good counsel? The first thing, of course, is you must hear it. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 18. Proverbs 20, verse 18. Every purpose is established by counsel. Every purpose is established by cancer. You need good cancer if you are ever going to have a breakthrough. In fact, Proverbs 24, verse 6. Proverbs 24 verse 6 He said with cancer make your wall In other words when you are going to go to war and I'm sure many of you know that we go to war every day the business world <laughs> Is war zone. And he said, with cancer, make your war. The same Proverbs 24, verse 6 says, Proverbs 24, verse 6, 
He said there is safety in the multitude of counselors. In other words, God says counsel yes. is very important. But of all the counselors in the world, there's none like Jesus Christ. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. Causing the wonderful counselor. In other words, if you need sound counsel, get it from Jesus Christ. I've told you the story about how God helped me to write my thesis for PhD. I have been working on the problem for 18 months. It's a problem that nobody has solved before. So we don't even know whether it has a solution or not. When the Lord took over, the problem was over in five hours. That's why I'm praying for somebody here today. Every problem in your life, before the sun rises, the good, wonderful counselor will give you a solution. Thank you, Father. The Lord says there is someone here listening to me tonight. He said, The open door before you will open wider. Amen. Amen. Here, good cancer. Number two, accept it. Proverbs 12, verse 15. Proverbs 12, verse 15. The Bible says, He that hearkeneth to cancer is wise. Many of you are already wise. Intelligent. Highly qualified. The Proverbs chapter 9, verse 9. Proverbs 9, verse 9. Says if you instruct the wise, it will be yet wiser. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 8. Proverbs 1 verse 8. The Almighty God says, My son, heed my instructions. Receive good counsel. From the elders. The Bible says, if a child has as many clothes as an elder, he will not have as many rags. In other words, there are certain things that only experience can teach. When the counsel is coming from someone than you, no matter your education, listen. And in any case, there's nobody who is older than the one called the Ancient of Days. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9. Daniel 7. 
Verse 9. Because in the ancient of days, receive instructions from him. Thank you, Father. The Lord said there's someone here tonight. She should tell you. Be alert. It is harvest time for you. When God says in Proverbs 11, verse 24 to 25, Proverbs 11, 24 to 25, when he says the miser will grow poorer. But that the liberal soul will be made fat. To the mother mind, that doesn't make sense. The mother mind will say, What I have, I hold. The ancient of days says they are received as scattered and yet increased. And the government and yet increased. That's cancer from the ancient of days. Many of us are where we are today because we are too tight-fisted. Open your hand. You never can tell when God wants to drop something on your hand. I've told you the story of one of our pastors. Years ago. I went to visit him. All I was expecting from him was a bottle of coke. At that time, the bottle of coke was sold for about five copper. And I had in my pocket a gift that I wanted to give him that was a naira, hundred copper. I got there, I greeted him, and he greeted me. He kept on greeting me, and gave me nothing. So I kept my money in my pocket. I got up, greeted him, and greeted him, and greeted him, and left. I got to the petrol station nearby. Bought two bottles of coke for ten cover. And kept the remaining 90 copper in my pocket. He lost a hundred copper because he was not willing to release five. I prayed that the grace to be liberal. I grace to be liberal. God will release to you tonight. Amen. Receive. Hear good cancer. Which is one of the reasons why I advise you don't miss any Holy Ghost service this year. Hear it. Receive it. And then number three, do it. James chapter 1 verse 22. James 1 verse 22 He said you must not be here only But doers of the word Don't just hear what God has to say Learn to do it the man who spoke before me said, learn to obey simply. 
eni to koko pa soro ka to wa so wipe e copy ati gboro lai se aniyojiyan simple obedience o yi gboro lasan hear the counsel e po imoran receive it e gba do it be ni ki o si se Please join us on this same station at this time for another wonderful experience as Pastor E.A. Adeboye exposes the deep mysteries in the Word of God.